Matthew Wells with MMA Latest News. I'm here with Lou Giordano. We're here at Genesis Jiu-Jitsu in Fort Worth, Texas, ahead of Johnny Hendricks fight at UFC 200. Lou, I want to talk to you about working with Johnny. How has it been this time around, you know, coming off a loss with the new weigh-in procedures and everything like that in play? How has it been working with Johnny for this fight? It's been great. You know, anytime I get to work with another guy, you know, multiple times, it just makes you know, my job that much easier. I have a great relationship with Johnny and his family, so I was kind of excited to get back out here and be around his kids. And uh, I love the new weigh-in procedures. It's actually a huge benefit to us, you know, because we already come in light. So now knowing that we don't have to wait several hours, you know, on weigh-in day, we can wake up, weigh in, start eating and drinking, and, and it'll just be a normal day for us to get back to the weight we want to get back to and, and just do what we have to do. So it's, it's been great. Cool. Now, this is the second fight you're working with Johnny, correct? Yes, sir. So, how's it been this time around? Is it, is it a little bit easier as far as the relationship goes and actually giving him instructions on what to do? Or? Yeah, you know what? It's really been the same as far as that's concerned. I'm very fortunate. We got along really well initially. You know, but the biggest difference was is, you know, Johnny and I both knew that the weight meant more than the win almost, you know, for, for his last fight. All eyes were on his weight. Every interview I did was about his weight. Every interview Johnny did was about his weight. And what ended up happening is, is you know, overlook, you know, Stephen, which you don't ever want to do. But we, we both knew that, hey, if he missed weight, you know, there goes my career and, and, you know, possibly his as well. So we put so much into making sure that, you know, we did everything to make weight. Um, we even stopped strength and conditioning earlier because we were holding a little bit too much weight. Now, you know, we've made all the adjustments. We've been doing strength and conditioning right up even this week. Uh, and we have a much, you know, a better game plan as to we know I could get his body where we need to. So it's actually been a lot easier and a lot less stressful. That camp, I lost 15 pounds. This camp, I'm gaining weight. So I'm happy about it. Very cool. Now, Johnny's been talking about he had a lot of mental issues, like not mental issues, but a lot of stress he was putting on himself yeah. uh, heading into the fight with Steven Thompson. And this time around, he's talking about he's not not having any of that extra added pressure. Are you feeling that from him? Working oh, out yeah, it's around? completely different. It's, it's a whole different vibe. The camp is very different. We have the, you know, right training partners that, you know, the game plan is, has been great. We've been watching films, studying, and the focus has been Kelvin. Again, not his weight. We put every day, Johnny and I would talk about his weight all day long. And it stressed me out because, again, you know, a lot was riding on, on us making weight. And we did. He felt great. He didn't lose because of, of his weight. It was a mental thing. And that mental thing is, is clear now. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and it's just fun to be around him when he's just focusing on the fight. Watching him train and spar, it, it, it feels right this time, you know? You know, you mentioned you being good friends with, with him and his family and everything like that. What are some of the things you do to, to help him take his mind off of worrying about weight and stuff like that? Well, I was excited to come out because I knew he just had his son. You know, when I was out the first time, his wife was, was pregnant. And um, I, I know my my father, uh, my brother is a uh, is a sole custody parent. You know, he has three kids he's been raising since they're, they're, they're little. They're 15 and 12 now. So, you know, I know how much work goes into trying to cook, clean, homework, and, and everything like that. So I knew that the household was probably going crazy with the you know fourth child, Johnny getting ready for camp. So I was excited to come out and, and lend a helping hand. You know, I cook our food, and then I get to make their food. You know, the other day, I, I, Johnny and I had turkey burgers, kale, sweet potatoes, and, and I made them, you know, vodka sauce, chicken parm, and tons of cheese, and, you know, stuff that the kids Something like. So, that, yeah, yeah and, and you know what? It, it's good because Johnny knows that he doesn't have to worry about too much. You know, his wife knows that, hey, just, just relax, don't worry about it. You know, I'll, I'll take care of this, that, and the other thing. And play games with the kids, it's great, because it reminds me of being home with mine. So, you know, it, it's just awesome to be around. Very cool. Now, we know you, you work with a lot of clients, you know, across the UFC and everything like that. Johnny's going to be the only one that you're focusing on coming up International Fight Week, correct? Correct, yeah. You know, I'm in Johnny's corner. I'm on stage for the WANs. I'm in his corner. And, I, you know, that's not something I take lightly. I really like to hone in and focus. Usually, when I go out for Fight Week, you know, I have a lot of people that I help. Everyday clients, because that's that's where I came from, and I, I never want to forget that. So I have people that I help with their meal plans that, you know, just work your basic 9 to 5, not even in, you know, sports or anything. So I let them know that, hey, Fight Week... It might be harder to get a hold of me. It might take me some time to get back to you because I'm so honed in on, on my client. You know, it's not a vacation for me. I don't look at it like, oh, I get to go to Vegas. No, I'm with my client. So I put a lot into that. Now, normally, how many, how many guys do you have that you would work with? You know, you worked with John Jones for his last fight. Yeah. So how many other guys in the UFC are you, you know, working with? 
with varying degrees. So normally, you know, I, I work with guys like um, after after John's fight. I had started to cook for Andre okay. during John's camp, but I was okay. with John every day, you know. Um, and Andre knew that as soon as John's fight was done, the plan was after John fought was to fly home. I haven't been home, you know, really since February. And, and um, midway through John's camp, you know, Andre and I were talking because they would spar a lot. And he was like, listen, I want you right after John, which was great because he's a heavyweight. So I didn't have to worry about weight, you know. It was like a vacation for me. And um, so as soon as John's fight was done, I was like, Mom, I'm not coming home. I'm going right back out to Albuquerque. Then when I was there, BJ Penn was like, listen, as soon as you're done there, I want you to come back out. So I usually only focus on one guy at a time, you know, especially getting closer to the fight. Um, so right now, my focus is July 9th, Johnny Hendricks. I do have other guys that I'm working with. I have other fighters after this, but I don't talk about it because my focus is Johnny Hendricks, July 9th, and, and just getting that W, you know? Yeah, very cool. So we see on the, sh on the shirt, Lutrition is what you, your nickname is and everything like that. So where, where can people find you? Online. So you could go, uh, you know, Lutrition is everywhere. The only thing that is not Lutrition is my Twitter. It's at Lou underscore Trition. Facebook is Lutrition. Instagram, Lutrition. Lutrition.net. Uh, and I also do own a supplement company, Nutrition.com. N-U-E. Trition.com. Just some really good, clean products. We don't try to reinvent the wheel or sell any fake, you know, dreams. It's just good, clean stuff, you know. So uh, check that out as well. Thanks for the time. Thank you.